Hello. In this video we're going to talk about designing a super smelter, but using droppers to distribute the items. I'll discuss why you might want to build it, and, you know, the steps taken to create this quite easy build. So let's get started. So what are the advantages? Well the biggest advantage is you're looking at all the redstone you need to know right in front of you right here. This is nearly all of the complicated redstone and everything else is very simple. Other than this, it's a line of redstone in front of double line of observers facing above your dropper line. And we just have a comparator on your first dropper into a block into a torch. It runs nearly silently. All the hoppers have inventory above them so they're not checking in the open world. And because these hoppers are never locked, it means if you're smelting a whole bunch of different items, they're just going to queue up next to each other in the hoppers if they can't go directly into the furnaces. So let's get started. We're going to skip the item elevator because there's enough tutorials on those out there. I'm just going to build a 12 length uh, furnace array, but you can make it any size you want up until 14. So to start with, we're just going to have our output. And we'll just do some hoppers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And put our furnaces on top of those. And then some hoppers into to fuel them. And then we'll just put a couple of uh, barrels at the end so that we don't shoot our items off the end. And I'll just get some placeholder blocks. Just temporary here, put our droppers in. So this is our dropper line. We'll do another one for where our input goes in. Once we've done that, we just need to do our circuits. So I'll just come out. Three. Compounder. That up there. We're just going to have another one up here, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, so four by five. We're going to have a repeater and a comparator coming out. We're going to put that in subtract mode, and I'll explain why later. The comparator coming in here, out this way. And then this just sort of follows around. We're going to put in some blocks. And there. And some dust. There, there. there. We'll put another compounder here. And that's our basic circuit. So in essence, um, what's going to happen is we'll get ourselves some torches now that we're not doing the furnaces. And I'll just put a torch here and here. So when this torch is released, it's going to send a signal into here, which goes into this fader clock, which keeps the torch unlit until the fader gets to zero, in which case it lights again and comes out again. And this is just to pulse it. So instead of going 14, 13, 12, 11, it'll go 14, 0, 13, 0, 12, 0, 10, 0, and so on. So pretty straightforward. We're just going to run our redstone line out this way. As far as our droppers go. Now normally this would be a 14 signal strength, but because I'm two short hoppers, so instead of 14 I've got 12, I'm just going to put a comparator here. Get myself some compost. some pie and we're just going to go for a signal strength of two so one two if you press f3 you can see that the level is two on the right there under where it says targeted block composter so this is going to take two of this compatible and subtract mode so instead of starting at a level strength of 15 and come around to 14 there it's going to start at um, 13 and be 12 when it comes into this thing so the furthest it's going to get is that last bit of redstone dust there. Now we just need our observers. So 
and one, two, one, two, all the way along. And that's one side nearly done. We just need to put a hopper here to take input and something to take the input out of. So we'll just do our other side now. Go back down here. One, two, three. Some powder. Phasing into that block. Oops, one block. There we go. And I'll just quickly build this up. Uh, that's the wrong way, actually. And I'm just going to take advantage of the middle mouse button to do this quickly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So remember, four by twenty space. Going to have a power to going in here. Uh, not there. There. And one there. One there. Repeat it into this block. Powder out. Powder then the subtract mode. That with a level of two. One, two. And then following this around, so one, two, three. Grab our blocks. One, two, three. Grab our dust. There, there, there. And that's all our dust. And we're just going to take this this way. Dust along it. Grab our observers again. And barring any mistakes, that should be it. So you don't have to have the barrels here, obviously. You can use item elevators or hopper lines, however you want to actually get the items into it. Um, but we should be able to load this up. Uh, so just double check that those are in subtract mode. Just check my redstone. Let's get some fuel and see if this works. So I'm going to get some coal. And I'm going to get some raw mutton. Uh, let's go with gold. Now the reason I went 12 is 12 happens to divide into a stack and a half. So if I've got a full stack and then some, that should divide evenly. Or, you know, you can divide it into half a stack. So this should go perfectly even into 12, both the fuel and the ore. So we'll just put our fuel in, our ore in. You can see it's not making any noise. And the furnaces are lighting one by one. And we've got one on that furnace we should have two by the time we get here when it's done there should be exactly the same amount of coal left over in each furnace and each furnace will do the exactly the same amount of gold because the distribution's perfectly even now that tick you're hearing now is just the coal finishing distributing and that's done so that's the only time it makes a noise when it finishes distributing a certain type of item and we're getting our gold back in here so no mistakes build it right the first time what are the odds of that so that's how you build a super smelter without mine carts and using droppers to do the distribution. Um, it's a nice simple build, something anybody could put into their world. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.